everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Daphne from Crafty Dust and I feel like I haven't been in front of a camera in a hot minute. It's only been two weeks really since there was no video last week, but I feel like I haven't seen my friends in a long time. I don't know how else to describe this feeling. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so let's get into today's video where I have three cute, easy, boho, aesthetic, air dry clay projects. And honestly, all three turned out so pretty. They can make for a nice decoration for your bedroom or your living room. Others are functional too. And I wanna thank each and every one of you who voted on my Instagram stories because you guys helped me make the final decision in terms of the design and I have to say this you guys have amazing taste because I am obsessed with how all three turned out so stick to the end to let me know which one your favorite was because clearly I can't make a decision also if you're new here this channel is all about DIY and home decor content in case you haven't realized already so don't forget to subscribe if that's something you like and also you guys I am now on TikTok at Crafty Dust I think I will put it up on the screen so don't forget to follow me over there too Enough self-promotion, let's get into the video! Hello from VoiceOver Daphne. So for all three projects, the basic materials I used are clay, of course, a rolling pin, a cutter, and some water. And I am starting off by wetting, kneading, and rolling out my clay. And I am going to create various shapes for this wall hanging. I used a candle holder to make a circle and carved it with my cutter and by the way guys it's best if you make these shapes a little bit towards the thick side so they don't break easily. And then I used a chopstick to open the holes where the cord will go through and finally I smoothed out the edges and imperfections with some water. I made three circles, four half circles, three triangles. For the triangles, I used the same candle holder I used to make the circles as a size guide, and I also made 10 rectangles. One tip for you guys is to make sure the holes are big enough for the cord because when the clay dries, there is no way back. When all the pieces had dried, which was about a day later, I sanded everything and smoothed out the little bumps and scratches and imperfections. I painted the triangles light blue. I love how this color turned out. Painted two rectangles light pink. And I also added a little bit of a mustard color I had to tone down the vibrancy cause it was turning out way too pink. I painted six rectangles white, the circles purple, and the rest two rectangles as well as half circles black. And by the way, I also painted the backsides and the paint only took like two minutes to dry, so that was great. Then I added some lines in different forms on the white and black colored shapes and I really think that made all the difference. It just tied everything together and gave some character to the piece. Generous. 
and finally I assembled the pieces using some jute cord. Essentially I created three hangings which I then wrapped around a branch and there you have an air dry clay wall hanging. All in all it took me two days to make this project and I think it turned out just beautiful. For this project I am using a terracotta colored clay because I want to keep it as natural as possible and I am rolling out a large and thick piece which I am then shaping into a rectangle with my cutter. And then I am pinching the short sides with my cutter where my wrapped clay will connect adding a drop of water and then I am wrapping the clay into a planter with no base really and just take your time here, you really want to make sure you have a strong and seamless connection. I worked on both the outside and the inside of the connection, adding water where needed and applying soft pressure with my fingertips. And for the base, I think it's pretty straightforward, I used the planter to shape the base on a new piece of rolled out clay and really took my time to blend both pieces seamlessly. I wanted to give it an organic shape so I didn't bother smoothing the surface and imperfections and I let it dry for a day but I made the mistake of exposing it to the sun which was pretty strong that day and when I was sanding it... Oh no! But do not worry, after contemplating throwing it away, I found the solution and it is called wood glue. Just make sure to sand the edges of either piece and wipe them with a clean cloth so there's no gaps when you glue them together. And I also used a tissue to wipe off the excess glue. After 10 minutes, when it was completely dry, I started painting and I decided to draw something super easy because I suck at painting and I didn't want to ruin it and also I had come a long way to ruin it on the final step. And to make sure I do not, I dipped my brush in water to carve out the sun shape I drew, which I then went over with a white collar and oh my god, I absolutely love how it turned out. For this final project, I am making a tray for my glasses and I am starting off by outlining the shape of the tray on some rolled out clay and when I was sure I had created my desired shape, I went in with my cutter and carved it. Then I created a strip which I will be using as the outline of the tray and once again I am pinching the edges of the tray's surface with my cutter to make a stronger connection between the two pieces and I am also wetting it with a drop of water before I attach them together. I am cutting off the excess clay from the strip and I am also pinching with my cutter the two edges I will connect and adding a drop of water. Basically I do that every time I want to merge two pieces together and then I am smoothing out the edges especially where the two pieces connect to create my final shape. 
When it was completely dry, I smoothed the edges with a fine grit sandpaper and then painted it white. I wanted to keep it very minimal and you guys chose this beautiful drawing of a tippy tent and a couple of cacti and I love, love, love how it turned out. I suck at painting so being able to do this really takes a lot of effort but I am loving how it's turning out so far And there you have a cute minimal tray for your glasses I use it every day obviously I have it on my nightstand and I just adore it are my Airjoy clay DIYs. I had so much fun creating these. I love working with clay. I find the whole process from start to finish very therapeutic and although simple, I think they turned out so pretty, which just goes to show that A, you don't need to be experienced to work with Airjoy clay. I am definitely not experienced. And B, you don't need to do a lot to create an aesthetic result sometimes simple is the best option. So let me know which one your favorite was in the comment section down below because honestly I like all three of them equally. I cannot choose between the three. Is it because I am biased? Probably. But if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also share it with your friends and family or those you think would enjoy getting their hands dirty with clay. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home decor and DIY content and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.